Good morning from sunny Lagos. This is Christopher Awasanya, president of Atlantic Western Power in New Jersey and AWPS Renewable Energy in Lagos, Nigeria. This, this topic today is battery desulfators. Do they work? Uh, there are so many opinions. Some people believe it's snake oil. There are people who swear by them. They brought back batteries that were practically dead and they resurrected them. It's Easter, so we're talking about resurrection and they've had good results. Well, I'll show you my personal experience with battery desulfators. I we're now running a new series of tests on some batteries. We took off a customer, and in a few weeks, we'll let you know if battery desulfators work. So let me show you first test I had run. About two weeks ago, this particular battery was reading a little over four volts. It's a six volt battery. So when you have a battery reading four volts, you know that battery is in trouble, it's distressed. So I connected a battery desulfator, ran the battery desulfator for a little over a week, and the battery has maintained six volts ever since. So is it the battery desulfator that did it, or is it just luck or a chance or coincidence? Well, that's up to you, the audience, to decide if it works. So I'll show you a new, a new set of batteries we picked up, and I'll show you what the voltage on the batteries are, and then I'll tell you a week from now if we're able to improve on them. So, should we zoom in here? So, these two batteries are AGM batteries manufactured by Mercury and they're 150 amp hours each. When we brought them here, they were reading 13 volts. So, a battery that reads 13 volts is a battery that's fully charged. So, we're excited. We have these batteries. We took off a customer that didn't work for him and we're convinced that the geniuses we were we're going to make the battery do something he refused to do for someone else. Well, guess what? We hook, on, hook them up to our wonderful, beautiful inverter over here, turn the juice on, and guess what? It worked! Well, as long as it was powering only lights, it wasn't a problem. So what did we do? We decided to do a load test. And the way we do a load test is by turning on the fridge. And the minute we turn the fridge on, what do you think happened? It dropped to 17 volts and shut down an inverter. So what does that tell us? It tells us that the battery is badly sulfated. So we've hooked up our compositor, our battery desulfator. So a battery desulfator, what it does is sends pulses and the pulses break the sulfates that are on the positive and negative plates. So we're hoping that after running this for about two weeks, that it will work. So let's show you what the current voltage is. We have the charger hooked onto it, as you can see. We have the charger hooked onto it. We'll tell you what the current voltage is, and you'll see the battery claims to be full, when in reality it's not. So here's our trusty multimeter. We'll set it to DC, and it's an auto-ranging multimeter, so you see some numbers. What we'll do is we touch positive and negative to reset it and to make sure it works. And we're going to come to our positive and our negative and we'll get a voltage. So Trudy, put your camera right here. Can you see the numbers? Mm -hmm. And right now with our charger on we're seeing 27.43 volts. Let me turn the charger off and we'll see how much that will drop by. So the charger is going off. So our auto ranger. Our desulfator is still pulsing. And here is our voltage right now. It's still 27 point as it's dropping very slowly, which is fine, which isn't unusual. Let's see what our desulfator says the voltage is. So the desulfator says 26.1 volts. The desulfator always reads a much lower voltage than what our battery bank has always read. So we're going to keep watching and we'll get back to you in about a week to see if we are able to desulfate these batteries. We have six of them and all six gave the exact same result. They crashed our inverter when we plugged it in. Now let me show you that battery I told you a week ago. Let me turn the refrigerator off so we can hear ourselves. Let me show you the battery that I told you a week ago was, um, sorry, two and a half, three weeks ago was at four volts. That's this one, as you see, we taped it. So we can tell which one it is. And today, it is at, should it come, zoom in. You see, you see the number? Mm -hmm. 6.29. 6.29. Well, the charge controller is charging it, so it could be a little off, 
but now I show you over six volts. Our charge controller is putting in 22 amps, 21 amps, and our batteries are 25.4 volts. Our one kilowatt is producing 660. So that's it today about our battery desulfator. Visit us at www.atlanticwastepower.com or www.awpsrenewables.com. Again, it's www.atlanticwastepower.com or www.awpsrenewables.com for more information. Again, it's Christopher Owasanya coming to you from Lagos. Thank you.